And right in there, where I'm sticking the probe, that's the endometrium, which is the inside lining of the uterus. Now, the reason I wanted to jump back to this cadaver dissection is during day one, or when day one starts, it's when menstruation takes place, bleeding. And the endometrium will actually slough off, and the uterus will contract with that smooth muscle. And then the endometrial cells with the blood will actually move out the vaginal canal, and that's what's essentially responsible for the menstrual bleeding. And that can last anywhere from one to seven days. Some females have it for a couple days. Some have longer and heavier periods that can last up to seven days. And so there's a bit of variation when it comes to that. But what's really interesting about this is all of the hormones that we have here. And so I want to start with LH and FSH. LH stands for luteinizing hormone. Luteinizing refers to yellow, and I'll mention why it got its name luteinizing a little bit later on. But luteinizing hormone, you can see, is highlighted in yellow, and we get this huge spike around day 14. 